Now let's talk a little bit about linear regression and uh, the uh, linear estimation and correlation coefficient. So I'm assuming we've entered in the values into our summation registers given the, the previous one that we did on statistics. And if you were to plot this out on a line, it would look something like this. So what we're doing with the linear regression is we're curve fitting those points and then we will uh, see how accurate we can get with that linear regression. So just hit gold or F and then hit LR for linear regression. So what this is going to show us is 4.84. It's putting it in point slope form. So the Y is equal to AX plus B form. So this is going to give us our y-intercept, so that 4.84 is our y-intercept, which we know it's, it's 4.6, so this has fitted all the rest of the lines and it's a little bit more than, than reality. So our b is 4.84, and then if I swap the x and the y registers, that gives me a slope of 0 0.04. So that's the slope of this line here. That will be our a, 0.04, and 4.84. Now if I wanted to make an estimate at some point, let's say I wanted an estimate for what 30 is going to be. Now I know it's going to be somewhere between 5.8 and 6.6. .6. But if I enter in 30 into my X register, and then I hit Shift Y, that gives me 6.01 as the estimate for the y value uh, given the linear regression that we've done. If I swap my x and my y, that gives me my correlation coefficient. So 0.99 is my correlation coefficient at that point. Now one other thing you can do is to estimate the x um, value based off of your y value. It's not intuitive immediately unless you know exactly how you're manipulating the equation. But first let's do our linear regression. So again in the x portion of the stack we've got our y-intercept, our b, and in the y portion of the stack we have our slope. And let's do a value of 7. So we know that our value of 7 is going to be somewhere in x between 60 and 40, closer to the 60 side. So let's enter in 7, and that is just pushed up our y-intercept and our slope into the y and z portions of the stack respectively. And then we are going to do a swap between x and y. We are going to subtract the two, swap x, x and y again, and then divide. That gives us our slope. So now we have a estimated x value of 55.38 and that is about what we expected it to be.